Hello, and welcome to Chat State. We are thrilled that you are interested in becoming a Chat State Tiger. This video will help guide you through the admissions process. Before beginning the admissions application process, please make sure you have the information you will need to complete the application, such as your social security number and high school graduation date. The form asks for your permanent address, which may be different than your mailing address. In order to start the application process for Chattanooga State, go to chattanoogastate.edu. Once you arrive on our homepage, click the Apply button. This will take you to our admissions page. Select the appropriate student type. Read through each of these descriptions to choose the description that most accurately describes you. For this example, we'll select first-time college student. At the top of the first-time college student page, you will find the definition of first-time college student. Double check that that's correct. If it isn't, you can always go back to the previous page. Because this application is for a first-time college student, I'm on the correct page. The page details all of the documents that you will need to successfully complete your application process. Take a moment to review this list before starting the application. You will need to submit required documentation after you have completed the admission application. To begin, click the link Complete the Online Admissions Application. Next, click Apply for Admission. In order to help protect your personal information, click I'm not a robot to complete a CAPTCHA. This is the first of two CAPTCHAs. Please read these directions before you create your account. If you are applying to Tennessee College of Applied Technology, also known as TCAT, you will want to double check the majors that are listed here. You have already chosen the correct student type on our admissions page. Once you are ready to start your application, click on Create an Account. This is the second of two CAPTCHAs. Click I'm not a robot. Once you've completed and verified the CAPTCHA, you'll be able to continue to the rest of the page. If you need assistance completing this application due to a disability, please contact the Center for Access and Disability Services at 423-697-4452 or email christy.strode at chattanoogastate.edu. To create a login ID, you will use up to nine letters and or numbers. Be sure to not use your social security number as your ID. I'm going to include a combination of letters that make sense to me. Create a pin that is exactly six numbers long and verify that pin. Press login. Welcome to ChatState's admission application. This page is reminding you of the definitions of student types that we have chosen earlier. Instead of saying first-time college students, this page uses the term freshman. So just make sure that you have chosen the correct student type. At the bottom of the page, click the drop-down menu. If you are a different student other than freshman, make sure you choose the correct one. For our example, we're going to choose freshman and click continue. This page is going to ask what term you're applying for. You're applying for the fall credit term 2022. Enter your legal first name and last name and press fill out application. At any point in the application process, if you need assistance, you can chat with us by clicking on the chat here link. Chat is available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 430. You can phone us, or if you have question outside of these working hours, you can email us by clicking the email address that goes with your degree type. This is an application checklist. As you complete each item, a red check mark will be added next to each item in the checklist. Begin by clicking on Name. As you read through here, you will see it has auto-populated your first and last name, but has added a new box, Preferred First Name. Enter your preferred name here. At the bottom of the page, you can choose the button Checklist, which will take you back to the checklist and you will have to choose the next item, or simply press the Continue button. That will take you to the next item on the checklist. Enter your permanent address. 
This is not your mailing address. This is your permanent address. So it might be your parents' address or something along those lines. Make sure you include your apartment number, unit number, etc. Fill in the city and state and the zip code and county will auto-populate. Press continue. On the personal information page, you are asked to give your social security number. If you do not have a social security number, simply enter all ones in the nine digit social security number field. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to enter nine ones. Choose whether you are a citizen of the United States, permanent resident, reclassification in progress, non-resident alien, or resident alien for tax purposes. Have you lived in Tennessee continuously for the past year? This box requires an answer regardless of whether you've chosen yes or no to the question above. If you've chosen yes, simply type in N-A. If you've chosen no, please be sure to provide date and reason you moved to Tennessee. Next, type in your personal email address and then verify your email. Include your cell number, gender, birth date, and ethnicity. Click Continue. On the high school page, you will need to enter your high school code. If you do not know it, do not worry. There is a Look Up High School Code button. Click that. Select the state that you graduated from. Click List Cities in Selected State. Choose the city your high school is located in. Once you find your city, click List High Schools in Selected City. For this example, I'm choosing Eastridge High School. You choose the high school you graduated or will graduate from. Then press the button Copy Selected High School Information to Data Entry Form. This takes you back to the page and now the high school code is automatically entered as well as the high school name, city, and state. Next, enter the date you graduated or expect to graduate from high school. Notice, if you went to multiple high schools, you can choose Enter or View Another High School. If you did not, choose Continue to go to the next item in the checklist. Next, additional information. This page asks questions about whether you have registered for the selective service as a male between the ages of 18 and 26. Have you applied for FAFSA? Are you currently in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you attended any college or university, including as a dual enrollment student? If yes, you will need to list those colleges you have attended. Press Continue to go to the next item in the checklist. This takes you to the planned course of study page. Read through the types of degrees we offer. The first four degree types are for students who are planning to transfer to a four-year institution to earn a degree at a four-year institution. An Associate of Applied Science degree is for those who do not plan to transfer to a university, but plan to start working as soon as you complete your degree at Chat State. We also have Tennessee Transfer Pathway for transferring to a Tennessee public university, certificates, and diplomas. Be sure to read through all of these definitions carefully to choose the correct degree. If you're a nursing and allied health major, please read through this important information. For this example, I'm going to choose an AAS in Digital Media Design and Production Graphic Arts Technology. I plan to go to work after my time at Chat State, not transfer. Press Continue. Now that you have completed every portion of the application, you will see six red check marks. If you see six red check marks, click Application is Complete. The application is not complete until you agree to the terms, so click I agree to the terms. The next screen tells you you have submitted your application for Fall Credit Term 2022. 
you can check your status at chattanoogastate.edu forward slash status. Once you have completed the application, return to the admissions page to double check what other items you're going to need for your application process. Go to chattanoogastate.edu. Click on the apply button and that will take you back to the list of student types. You can also type in chattanoogastate.edu forward slash admissions. Click the first time college student to check out the list of items you need to start gathering in order to complete the application process. You have finished the first item, complete the online admissions application. You will need to submit the list of documents. You can always check your application status with the blue button at the bottom of